uh, when you do have a truly intersexed person, at, at that point, either the parents or when they're old enough, they can decide which way they're going to orient themselves and they can get the appropriate surgery. But that's not what we're experiencing so you're in our culture. It's okay for people to decide their gender. In that situation, but that's not what we're talking about in our culture. What we're talking about in our culture are people with perfectly normal functioning sexual organs trying to have them removed and trying to transition to another gender, which is impossible scientifically. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today, guys, we're back again with a new video. So, we're going to be checking out Biologist Confront Frank on gender. So, with that for the talk, guys, let's get right to the service. Have you ever heard of gynecomastia? I had it. And if, okay, so did you have that fixed? Yes, I did. And did that make you feel affirmed in your gender and comfortable no, in your body? No, no. When I was in the Navy, nobody knows this, by the way. Jesus. <laughs> now I'm revealing my, I need a HIPAA form to sign here or something. Okay, this is going to be interesting. What do you have to say for people who don't fit in your definition of man or woman? I'm a biologist. Mm -hmm. I understand the biology. Are you saying that a woman is only a person who has two X chromosomes and a man who is someone who only has an X and a Y chromosome. I think that's the scientific definition. Yes. It's actually not because there can be people with XXY, there can be Y chromosome mm -hmm. inactivation. The way that this biology works mm -hmm. is that you have genes. Those mm -hmm. genes make proteins. Those proteins develop the traits that you define as men and women. They develop the features that you define as male. They develop the genitalia, mm -hmm. but you can be a woman with hmm. female genitalia and be XY. You can be a man, but you could you can have XX chromosomes. Yeah, I understand what you're talking about, Grace. You're talking about a very rare condition known as intersexed. One right. in 100 people experience chromosomal differences in sex. Okay, but not one in 100 have different genitalia or ambiguous genitalia. And what do you say to those people? Well, what you say is that's a situation that is not the norm. We're not saying that they're not people, obviously. As I understand it, maybe you know more about it than me, uh, when you do have a truly intersexed person, at, at that point, either the parents or when they're old enough, they can decide which way they're going to orient themselves and they can get the appropriate surgery. But that's not what we're experiencing so in our culture. it's okay for people to decide their gender? In that situation, but that's not what we're talking about in our culture. What we're talking about in our culture are people with perfectly normal functioning sexual organs trying to have them removed and trying to transition to another gender, which is impossible scientifically. Have you oh. ever doubted that you're a man? Mm -hmm. You've doubted that you... Oh, have I ever doubted I'm a man? No, I have never doubted then I'm a man. Then what do you say to a transgender person who has never doubted their gender? You're saying that we all change and that obviously transgenderism is a product of some kind of phase, but you've never doubted that you're a man. So no, where's, I'm, your, look, where's your development of this change? Grace, I'm not denying there are people truly with gender dysphoria. I've already said that. What I'm saying is, is the way out of that problem is not surgery according to the data. Thank you. Okay. Psychiatry is the way out of that problem. I also don't agree with mm. your statement that after surgery, you implied that transgender people are more likely to commit suicide after surgery. But the statistics say that transgender people are more likely to commit suicide because of people like, because of arguments that you make that they're invalid. No, I'm and not I'm saying not, they're invalid. I'm, I'm just saying that you implied that it's the surgery that's causing suicide. No, it's rates. not. Uh, what I'm, I'm saying, saying is the surgery doesn't fix anything. That's the point. The same, it's practically the same rate, whether they have the surgery or not. If you woke up and grew breasts today, would you would like them to be removed? There are many. Say that again. Have you ever heard of gynecomastia? I had it. And if, okay, so did you have that fixed? Yes, I did. And did that make you feel affirmed in your gender and comfortable no, in your body? No, no. When I was in the Navy, nobody knows this, by the way. Jesus. <laughs> now I'm revealing my, I need a HIPAA form to sign here or something. You don't have to talk <laughs> no, about it. No, what, what, what I'm saying is, yes, I've had that myself and, and, and had it surgically removed when I was in the Navy. Yeah. And do you feel more comfortable in your body and more affirmed in your gender because of that? Well, it wasn't a gender thing for me. It was the fact, well, I can't even get into it now because it had nothing to do with my gender. Okay. So it, 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 it had to do with a, it had to do with the fact that mm. it looked really odd. <laughs> Let me just put it that way. Okay. But Grace, my point is, 
is if we truly care about people, are we going to try and force them down a road, particularly as children, into a solution to a problem which is proven not to be a solution? You just said that having that surgery made you feel better about yourself. No, that has nothing to do with transgender surgery. I, think, I, I, wasn't, think- I wasn't changing my sex. I was having breast tissue removed. Okay? I, I was always a man. Mm-hmm. Okay? So... And say that I have XY chromosomes, but I'm born with female genitalia and female body types, but I believe I'm a man. Should I not be allowed to have that breast tissue well, removed? As an adult, you can do whatever you want. Yes, that's M- fine. My problem is with the children. That's, that's, where, that's where I'm having a real problem. Is there a I, magic button at 18 that instantly makes you feel like you know who you are and absolutely what your gender is? I don't no, know well, that's... I think for women, it's probably like 15. For men, it's 37. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, okay? Because men don't develop as quickly as women, all right? But no, no, we've just chosen 18 kind of as the, the adulthood crossing point, although for some issues it's 21, like drinking, okay? So no, maybe it's later than 18, okay? My big problem, and I would say this to somebody who's 37, that the surgery does not appear to help anyone. And if you want more data on this, you can go to sexchangeregret.com sexchangeregret.com. But I wouldn't even be talking about this issue unless I thought the current way the culture is going is hurting people. And it is. Why, why would I bring all this abuse on myself? Hmm. I'd just like to say that I disagree. Okay. Thank you for talking Thank you. to me. Thank you, Grace. Okay. My feedback on this is I feel like people who are suffering from gender dysphoria, surgery is not the best answer. They need a psychologist. They need a counselor, mostly a psychologist. Because it's, it, it's something that's affecting them that is really bad, that telling people make people f- look them as if they are stupid. You understand? So you, you won't blame them, people who are suffering from gender dysphoria. But where you won't cross the line is when they are little babies, little children that have not reached the age of 18, uh, maybe they're passing through the, the gender dysphoria, you go make some decisions of surgery as an option. That is the wrong aspect we are all talking about. Don't make a decision for children that are not up to 18 or 21. Some, some countries accept 21. Don't make decision for them. A life-altering decision. For instance, now, I've seen a lot of transgender after the surgeries and everything, after some years, they regret their actions. So what Frank is actually saying there is, don't cross that line. These are children. These are babies. They can one day choose to be like, mom, dad, why did you make such a decision for me? They start blaming their parents. So we all know when you're grown enough, okay, you're making a decision for your own life. It's surgery done to alter yourself. You only need a psychologist. Frank did the surgery. On his breast, it felt like it was awkward that a man shouldn't have had that, and he was ashamed of it. So it's true to go. It's true to go do a surgery on himself. And he's clearly telling the lady, it's not because of he's passing through some gender dysphoria. It's not because he's afraid of his sex. That is not. He does not believe he's a man. It's because he felt ashamed of it. But the lady, she came prepared. She's a biologist. She came prepared with a gun. <laughs> To come to to render everything on Frank, and Frank was very, very clever. The lady herself, she's making points. We all know she's making the points. Well, Frank is saying, I see your points, but at the same time, there's line for everything. You shouldn't alter a baby's life. That's where you get it wrong. Take them to a psychologist. When they are grown enough and they want to make a life altering decision, they can do whatever they want. It's as simple as that. But surgery is still not the best answer. You need a psychologist, period. Surgery is not an option. Psychologist is best for you to think and get back to your normal frame of mind. 
So guys, comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel, guys. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch in my bed. I